Hey everyone, it's Rebecca, your Star Director for the Simper Sense team. Today's Thursday, actually, February 23rd, and I'm a couple days late on posting our YouTube challenge, but, um, you know, life happens. But here we go. First, I want to say thank you, everyone who posted on our Simper Sense page, all of your ideas and must-haves from the Sensi Success Store. Um, we got ideas from mini testers to catalogs to join by host um, flyers to putting your uh, logo and your car decal out um, on your vehicles you know lots of good ideas if you haven't had a chance to scroll through and see everybody's posts do that because I think you'll get a lot of ideas so um, I told you that I was going to draw two th two names out of all of the posts um, from all the things I showed you on last week's video and so I'm going to try to flip this around this way so you can see me draw so we had a lot of people that won Let's see if it's working. And the first winner is going to be Dawn Wilkins. And you won a sheet of um, sticky decals. And the second winner is Billy Joe Ariano. And you won the Essentially You um, Scentsy Magazine. So you um, both can utilize these in your businesses and let us know what you think of them. Okay, so hopefully y'all were able to see that, but I did just use the drawing. So, uh, thanks again for participating. So, this week's YouTube challenge is going to be talking about recruiting packets. Um, we have seven days left in uh, February, one of the two biggest recruiting months of the entire year. Why? Because it's a transition month. We're getting ready to start a brand new catalog on March the 1st. So, a lot of people have asked, what do you put in your recruiting packets? Well, first of all, I have a, my recruiting packet is really simple. Uh, well, the packaging is. It's just the catalog sacks that you can get, again, on Scentsy Success. And inside that, I have printed off my joining Scentsy letter. Okay? So, if you look on the document section on our Simper Sense page, you will be able to see this letter. You can copy and paste it and customize it to say whatever you'd like. But it pretty much just introduces myself and it introduces what Scentsy is and why I think Scentsy would be beneficial for their business and their life. I also have um, cards made up that say, "My Scentsy, uh, Welcome to My Scentsy Adventure. And this tells, this is my Scentsy story. It talks about, it's the same story that's on my personal website. It helps them get personally, uh, learn me, uh, get to know me a little bit more personal. Um, it talks about how I started. It talks a little bit about my family and why I love Scentsy and um, why I would love to share the opportunity with them. I also include some older flyers of the scent in the warmer of the month. So, you know, you always have some extra over left, leftover flyers at the end of the month. You know, my stamp is on them. It just shows that Scentsy is constantly coming out with new products and um, they can always have something to look forward to growing and growing all the time. So these are just extra flowers that I put in there. I also have some opportunity cards made up. It says, be your own boss, an entrepreneur in control of your own future. Looking for a rewarding career that works with your schedule? Are you looking for extra spending money to make a car payment or a mortgage? Free vacations and unlimited income potential? You can set your own hours and have fun while you earn. Contact me today and live your dream. And I just have my label here. These are just postcard type wrap cards. Again, that I put in there. Whether they keep it in their packet or pass it on to someone else, that's okay. Also include a join brochure. Now these, again, can be found on Scentsy Success. It talks about what they'll get in their kit, um, why to become a Scentsy Consultant, the promotional tools that we offer free, your workstation, how, Scentsy, how the shipping works, and everything like that. There's also a Getting Started brochure that I got on the um, Scentsy Success. And this talks more specifically on how do they sign up, what are the startup costs, uh, what do they do after they receive their kit. Well, all you guys know that you'll receive a, they will receive a packet from me because I'm their director. But this kind of also breaks it down. Talks about shipping, sales quotas, how do we pay taxes, how do we do income taxes, how do you get paid every month. So this is just a little bit more detailed flyer, okay? I'll also include the um, little mini catalog, just shows more examples, and then of course a, a, a current catalog with my label on the back. Um, this is the fall and winter, so I'll get ready to change that out soon. Um, I'll also include one of my business cards, 
and a sample because it is the smell that sells. We attach samples to everything. And then sometimes, depending on the customer, depending on the potential recruit, and I say that generously because sometimes you just want to hand out recruiting packets. But if you've been talking to someone and you know that they're really interested, you might go ahead and throw a scent circle in that packet and a Discovering Scentsy DVD. This is the same DVD that came inside of your starter kit. So feel free to reuse that one. You can always ask for these back if you want or just consider it a business expense and a great um, tool to um, get more recruits. Okay, so I put all of that in a sack and our little bag. Some people use folders. Some people use other goodie bags. Um, maybe you don't put quite that much stuff or maybe you put a little bit more. So that's the way I do my recruiting packets. I always have one with me or two, sometimes more. Um, I always have them made up for any kind of events that I go to because you just never know when you're going to run into somebody that might be interested in the business. Remember, no one is going to know that you want them on your team unless you ask them. And if you don't ask them, another consultant is going to come up and ask them. And then they will be on their team and not yours. So after you've handed out these packets, be sure to write their information down in a notebook. And that way you can follow up with them at a later date and see what they think about uh, the information that you shared with them or if they have any other questions. So I want to see, and like I said, we have seven days left in the month of February. One of the big, one of the two biggest recruiting months of the year. Um, we have done amazing. We are very close to reaching our um, group goal of 400 um, t uh, group members. And remember, whoever gets that 400th group member will receive $100 in free Cincy product from me to you that you get to choose. Um, but we're close, but you got to keep working. So right now, I want to see what your recruiting packets look like. We've done similar challenges, but let's talk about um, what they look like. Do you decorate the packages? Where do you hand them out? And so, where have been some of your um, best places to hand them out? Post a picture of it if you have a picture. If not, I mean, we love pictures because we're visual learners. But if you don't have a picture, go ahead and still post um, what are in your recruiting packets. Seeing a picture lets me know that you're really doing it and you're going to be the next rock star of our Cincy team. So um, post on there and I will have an awesome Cincy prize as usual for everyone, um, for everybody that posts. I'll draw from the little hat and we'll show that on our next week's YouTube challenge. Thanks everyone.